Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a test page if you're using WordPress. While you're logged in, go to Posts and add new post. You can give it a name any way you want. I'd like to call it test page. So the link will be whatever your root domain is slash test page. I would set the visibility to private. You can put a dummy text or dummy content in it. And then once you're done, you can just go ahead and update. Here's the link. You can go ahead and click on it. Now, if you right click and view page source, look for the opening body tag. And you're going to see here your post ID for this page. Another way to find out the post ID, if you don't want to view the page source, then you can go to all posts and then when you hover your mouse over that see at the very bottom you have the post number in there you'll need that id in order for you to target this page only with the codes or tags you're testing with now when you're doing your tests you can use advanced ads or add inserter to deploy your tags or codes in this tutorial i'll use add inserter so you go to settings, add inserter. So we'll grab one block here and put a sample tag. And then I'm going to put the post ID here and choose whitelist. You can find that when you click on this button here. Once that's done, let's go ahead and save it. Okay, so let's reopen the test page. Right click and view page source. And let's check if that test div ID exists on the page. Control F. And it's right here. It says code block 16. And you see the div ID right there. On add inserter, we have it on block 16. And that is it. Now just to make sure it doesn't appear on any other pages. So we have it on posts. So we're going to go ahead and grab one example here. Let's try this one. Right click and view page source. Then let's try to find test page. And zero. So this goes to the body section of the site. Decide where you want it posted or inserted. Right here. And make sure that you enable it on that specific post ID only. So that's the only one whitelisted. If you want to do or deploy that in the header section, or if you have a header tag that you want to test as well, you make sure that you go to hooks first and create the hook WP underscore head enabled and then save. Once that's done, you will have that in your auto insertion in here. Then you can say list and again put the post ID right here and put your header tag here. So that will isolate or that tag will only be deployed on that specific post or test page. Now how do you prevent the other tags that you have from running on this test page? Then what you need to do is the opposite. So for the rest of your ad blocks running on your pages, and the same with your header tags, go ahead and put the post ID, and this time you need to blacklist it. So you're sure that only those tags that had this post ID whitelisted will be the ones to run on this page and not the rest of the guys that's running in production. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.